will be more to you. And today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to change your MAC address for PS3. The reason that you might be doing this is if you are console banned on Black Ops 2 or just any other game. So, first of all I'm going to show you the MAC address app just now, but I'm only going to show you the last two letters because that's the two that we'll be changing. Okay, so first you want to get your debt 3.55 downgrader onto your what's it your USB make a folder called PS3 and inside that update inside that PS3 up that dot PUP. The PUP bit should be up there automatically. You just have to rename it to PS3 up that. And also on your USB, you need to have Chaos Airbringer package file because that's what get puts your MAC address onto your USB when you're on the custom firmware. So when you've got all this on, you just want to simply eject your USB and make sure you do it this way so it's more safe for you. Okay, so now I have got my USB into my PS3, I will click on install Chaos, Air Chaos Airbringer. Okay, so as you can see it's there. Make sure there's no game disc in your PS3. And then you just want to go to system update.pv. So update via storage media. And here you can see 3.55. You just want to hit X, and now it's going to quickly do this. So I will cut it, and then you'll. I'll see you when it's done. Okay, guys, I am now back, and I will just show you that my PS3 is on 3.55. Push up on me now. <clears throat> okay, so there is the version 3.55 and please just remember that my girl has got a 5 second delay. Okay, so now I will also provide in the description BuzzX 3.55 custom firmware. This is what you need. To use Chaos Airbringer, Chaos Airbringer. Okay, so you just want to put your USB back into your PC or laptop. Or so here, you just you can delete Chaos Airbringer package because you've already got it on your PC. So here's your you just want to drag your custom firmware three point fifty five into this one and replace this your original one. So if I just so it is loading. Yep, you want to replace. Shouldn't do that long. Okay, so now you've got the custom firmware 3.55 in this folder. So now you just want to eject safely, like I've done before. Okay. Now I will be showing you my PS3. System update. So before you installed 3.55 official firmware, now you're installing the 3.55 custom firmware. So there it is. 
and it is gonna do the update again. So I will split this clip and I will speak to you when it is done. Okay guys, so now you want to run your TLC bringer with your USB in and it should, when it's done, it'll do a batsman for about two minutes or less. And when it's done, it'll make a file on your USB called Mac underscore original, which will, which is your Mac address, and then you'll change it. Okay, so now that that's done, you take out your USB and put it into your PC or laptop, whatever you have. Now, on your desktop, make a folder called MAC address and you want to make a copy of this. This is only USB, remember, and put it into this, just so you have a copy of it, just in case anything happens. So now, you want to download the program, which is in the description, called HXD Editor. So just download that and open it and you want to drag your mac underscore original into here and now it shows up your mac address <coughs> you want to change these two last digits to anything you want i prefer i'd like to do a letter and a number because i feel it's more safer so I will choose D6, okay, file, save, just exit out of that, and as you can see it makes these two, this is the original that you want, so and it makes an extra save, this is just what the program does, I don't know why, just delete this, and take this out, take the underscore original out, so it should be just just be called Mac and if you don't have VLC media file it should be called Mac.bin ok so now you want to safely eject that so. and put it back into your PS3 now when it's in your PS3 you want to run Chaos Airbringer again And remember, it does do a black screen for like two minutes or sometimes less. For me, it's doing less. So now the PS3 is back on. Just wait for another girl to come on. I'll go to turn your PS3 off. And then you turn it back on again. So my PS3 is now off. I will turn it back on. And then I will show you on system information that my MAC address has changed the last two digits. So I'll go to system settings and system information and show you my MAC address has changed the last two digits to what I wanted to. So now that it's done that, you just want to go up to whatever custom firmware you want to, Rebug or Ita or whatever there is. I'm going to Ita because to me it's safer because it's more updated and it's running 4.50. So yeah guys, I don't really have to show you that because it's a bit self-explanatory if you've done all the, the, that stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.